after a nearly 20 year wait, the side-scrolling sci-fi pentalogy of the fearless heroine Samus Aran, the Metroids, the Chozo, and even the possible re-emergence of the deadly Parasite X finally nears its end. And Metroid Dread is charged with completing the saga in a way longtime fans will appreciate. With the move onto the Switch though, it clearly also hopes to introduce the sometimes quite difficult 2D explorative back and forth gameplay to a brand new audience. It's a heavy double barreled assignment. Thankfully, despite a slightly over the top and relentless creepy tone, which I just didn't enjoy, and some, let's say, overly retro loading screens, Dread's crowning achievement is how it blends some truly ingenious Metroidvania styled level design with controls that feel smooth and flowing, and mechanics that are expertly introduced and then built on, providing a gameplay experience that feels intricate but exhilarating. Add in visuals that play with scale in an interesting way, a good combination of periods of intentional exploration and others of frantic single-minded escape, all framed within a mostly satisfying, if a little bottom heavy story, and it's clear that a series that helped to introduce the genre now plays to those strengths perfectly, and has in dread a finale fit for the famed and feared spacefaring bounty hunter. Woohoo! Pizza play!